hello children and welcome to our english period today we are going to learn new voices children in our previous period we have covered our part 1 and part 3 of our chapter number 4 one less than a 100 today we are going to study our last part that is part number 3 children you remember what we learned uh, in last two periods seeing the picture you will remember this is the story of nasruddin hurja and his neighbor nazim and uh, this is uh, the really st- amusing story yet thought provoking it is about an honest man named nasruddin hurja who prays to god every day for a 100 gold coins while well, asking the same he tell god that he wants exactly he wants exactly how many gold coins you are right 100 gold coins and even one less than 100 will not be enough hence he will not accept it so one day nasruddin's neighbor nazim who is rich merchant tries to put his honesty to test how he tested his honesty what he did nazim yes he tested his honesty by throwing a bag full of 99 gold coins in his courtyard so naturally nasruddin counts the coins and keeps them when nazim claims the bag of coins as his nasruddin refuses to return to him so the merchant threatens to take him to the court and for that also nasruddin he gave so many excuses that he does, he is very old now he cannot walk all the way to the court then he is having shabby uh, clothes he cannot go and face the judge in the shabby clothes so all his excuses were cleared by poor nazim he bought his sturdy donkey for him to ride and to go to the court then he gave him a nice silken gown with the fur lining and then nasruddin was happy satisfied with the clothes and then he said okay now i will come with you to the court and resolve the matter so what happens in the court let us see read with me at the same time keep your pencil erasers and notebooks with you to note down the new words at the court the judge asked them what the matter was Nazim told the story. The Horja stood stroking his beard all the time. Now see, this is the picture of the court. The judge is there, and Nazim and Nasruddin is there. Can you identify who is Nazim and who is Nasruddin? Yes. Correct. The one who is in blue gown with the fur lining and having white turban and stroking his beard must be. nasruddin and the poor nazim he is trying to convince the judge okay so after the merchant had finished the horja cleared his throat and spoke to the judge your excellency nazim is my neighbor i have seen him standing on his terrace and watching me pray he may have seen me counting the gold coins that god gave me today Right now he is trying to be smart. He wants to grab the money the benevolent one has given me. Nazim replied, "Believe me, my lord, the coins are mine. I never tell a lie." Hearing him pray for a hundred coins and only a hundred coins daily, I threw ninety-nine gold coins down into the courtyard to see. what he would do if he got one coin less than what he prayed for my lord not only is nazim smart but he is also crooked he often does things like this next he will probably say that the clothes i am wearing are his but they are mine cried the merchant raising his voice i gave them to him to wear to court today the fur coat and the silk dress they are all mine you see my lord broke in the hodja shrugging his shoulders next he will say that the donkey i am riding is also his 
एवरी वन नोज दैट आई हैव माई ओन डोंकी सेट द होडजा ही डिडेंट हैव वन शाउटेड द मर्चेंट नाउ डिसाइड हिमसेल्फ विद रेग द जज कुड टेक इट नो मोर आई हैव नेवर सीन सच अ रोग इन ऑल माई इयर्स इन दिस कोर्ट हाउ डे यू अक्यूज एन ऑनेस्ट एंड रिस्पेक्टेबल मैन योर ग्रीडी नेचर विल लीड यू डिजास्टर कंप्लेन डिसमिस्ड टेक हिम अवे he declared the guards at the court at once pushed the merchant out the hodja went home in his fine silken clothes happily riding on the donkey he found the miserable merchant sitting on his doorstep the hodja said not unkindly now take back your donkey and the dress and the gold coins neighbor but remember the lesson you have learned today don't at don't at any time tempt an honest man to break his word so here we come to an end of the lesson let us understand the lesson i'll explain you paragraph wise after the merchant had finished the hodja cleared his throat and spoke to the judge your excellency Nazim is my neighbor. Neighbor. Now, what happened? Nazim was trying to tell to the judge that whatever he is saying that the gold coins are given by the God, they are not his. It's me who has thrown them back to his courtyard. It is mine. So, Nasrudin Hodja kept quiet by the time merchant finished his saying. Then he cleared his throat. <coughs> This way, he has cleared his throat and spoke to the judge, Your Excellency. Nazim is my neighbor. I have seen him standing on his terrace and watching me pray. Now see how smart the Nasreddin Orhuja is. How he is convincing the judge that he was standing there in the terrace. That is correct. He was observing me praying, and whatever I was asking, he is known with that thing. He may have seen me counting the gold coins that God gave me today. It means. Nazim was observing Nasreddin counting the gold coins which God has given me, and because of that, he feels that I should take that coins from Nasreddin. He he is he is acting very smart. Right now he is trying to be smart. He wants to grab the money the benevolent one has given me. The one means he want to grab the money which the God has given me. benevolent one is the meaning of this word is god here so the coins which god has given because nazim is very greedy he want to grab that money because he has seen me counting the gold coins now nazim was very upset he replied believe me my lord the coins are mine now nazim was not understanding to how to convince judge what to tell whatever i am saying na nasruddin hurja is not at all ready to accept it at the same time something different story only he is telling to the judge in the court so what should i do he was feeling helpless only the thing he was telling to the judge continuously that the coins are mine and i have given it to them uh, to nasruddin to test whether he will accept one less than uh, one less than 100 coins or not he continued i never tell a lie hearing him pray for a hundred coins and only a hundred coins daily i threw 99 gold coins down into the courtyard to see what he would do if he got one coin less than what he prayed for my lord not only is nazim smart but he is also crooked who said this nasruddin when nazim explained that this is why how why i am asking telling him that this is these are my coins because i wanted to test him so what nasruddin reacted see very silently very coolly he said my lord not only nazim is smart but he is also crooked he often does things like this next he will probably say that the clothes i am wearing are his my goodness see how cunning and how crooked nasruddin is he himself is crooked and he is blaming nazim as crooked see what he is saying 
he often does things like this next he will probably say that the clothes i am wearing are his but they are mine cried the merchant raising his voice now he, nazim is shocked how smartly he is telling the judge the thing that which are not belong to him so merchant raised his voice nazim may raised his voice and shouted but they are mine whatever you are telling that the clothes are yours it's not yours these are mine i gave you but who will believe merchant because that time only both of them they were there no one else was there i gave them to him to him to wear to court today the fur coat and the silk dress they are all mine poor nazim he was trying to prove his point now what nasruddin replied you see my lord broke in the hoja shrugging his shoulders miss very smartly cunningly he added nasruddin next he will say that the donkey i am riding is also his every one knows that i have my own donkey said the hoja hoja added that oh my lord next he will say that the donkey i have ridden here i am riding is also his and everyone knows that i have donkey why should i borrow donkey from him but nazim is so cunning and crooked that he will say he will blame me that i have borrowed donkey from him i have borrowed clothes from him he is very cunning crooked who was saying this nazim nasruddin he was trying to prove nazim wrong in the court in front of judge said the hoja he didn't have one shouted the merchant poor merchant again he shouted to prove his point that no he doesn't have any donkey he asked me to give the donkey and so i gave one donkey to ride and come to the court now beside himself with rage the judge could take it no more now beside himself means now beside himself means here overcome with anger with rage extreme anger now the judge was very angry even merchant was very angry but he was helpless how to prove my point how can i convince the judge that these are all my things the dress the donkey the coins are mine and how smartly nasruddin is proving his point he is telling lie and proving me wrong now beside himself with rage the judge could take it no more now out of control the judge was out of control he was it means he was not able to understand that who is saying the truth so he said i have never seen such a rog in all my years in this court i have never seen such a case in my court how dare you accuse an honest and respectable man your greedy nature will lead you to disaster now the judge was very angry he said how you both of you are managing and to Uh, waste my time here no it's not correct you are accusing an honest and respectable man he was now the judge was fully convinced by nasruddin's statement that whatever nazim is saying it is false it's not true so your greedy nature means and judge assume that the nazim is only greedy and he want to get the gold coins from nasruddin so he has put all these dramatical situation here and brought nasruddin to the court your greedy nature will lead your you to disaster because of your this greedy nature you will be you will fall in trouble one day you will be in disasters one day complaint dismissed he said now i will not give any judgment on this complaint dismissed means there is no point in accepting the complaint complaint so take him away take him away means to whom to nazim he declared the guards at the court at once pushed the merchant out poor manazim the guards pushed him out because everyone was convinced with the statements of the nasruddin that nasruddin is correct and nazim is wrong the hoja went home in his fine silken clothes happily riding on the donkey now hoja he was very happy because he got 99 coins also donkey also and silken clothes also at the uh, same time he has won his case in the court in front of judge he could prove his point now he found the miserable merchant sitting on his doorstep poor merchant he was very sad and he was sitting on the doorsteps of his house the hoja said not unkindly means very politely 
he said now take back your donkey and the dress and the gold coins neighbor see the end is very surprising nasruddin also he uh, already he has proven nazim wrong in the court but after coming home he came to the merchant that sad merchant and uh, he has written nasruddin has written everything his donkey his dress and gold coins and what he said but remember the lesson you have learned today you learned something today from this experience you learned something what lesson he was very much disappointed actually nasruddin was very much disappointed because nazim has tested his honesty isn't it because he was praying to god and he was asking to the god actually nazim has nothing to do between god and nasruddin why he dropped that bag of gold coins to him nobody told him so nasruddin said to horja now take back your donkey and the dress and the gold coins neighbor but remember the lesson you have learned today don't at any time tempt an honest man to break his word it means you don't put the honest man in such a situation which will test his honesty because at the end we all are human beings we may feel tempted towards the any attractive things but you have no right to test the tempt of any honest man and to break his word he agreed nasruddin agreed that yes i know i was praying to god to bless me with the 100 coins if you bless me with one less than 100 coin i will not accept it but of course after seeing 99 gold coins even i was tempted to keep it with me and that time i broke my word whatever i was saying during the prayers because of this temptation i broke my words but no one has right to test the honesty of the man so you take this lesson my neighbor and you learn this lesson that don't at any time tempt an honest man to break his word here we come to an end of the lesson enjoy it yes very good now let us move ahead and see the new words and the question and answers the first activity will do children that is frame sentences the first word to frame the sentence is grab grab the music grabbed her attention the music grabbed her attention second word crooked here the meaning of crooked is cunning crooked she plays the role of crooked lawyer she plays plays the role of crooked lawyer opposite words let's see smart dull often never past tense pray p r a y pray prayed p r a y e d prayed learn l e a r n learn learnt l e a r n t learnt now let us see the comprehension part answer these questions with reference to the context my lord not only a nazim smart but he is also crooked who is the speaker and who is nazim the hurja is the speaker and nazim is his neighbor who said these lines which lines my lord not only a nazim smart but he is also crooked the hurja is the speaker and who is his neighbor nazim and nazim is his neighbor why does the speaker call nazim crooked isn't it the speaker nasruddin hurja call nazim crooked in the court in front of judge why the hurja called nazim crooked because he later claimed the 99 gold coins to be his he later claimed the 99 gold coins to be his and because of this for nasruddin nazim is crooked now here is one activity for your children what you have to do 
you have to collect the information on a festival which is held annually in the honor of horja okay you remember at the beginning of the lesson i have uh, told you when i showed you the picture of nasruddin horja and gave you some clues this was one of the clues i have given you that the festival is uh, organized in the honor of this personality between 5th july to 10th july okay so you have to collect that information on a festival which is held annually in the honor of horja and you can note it down in the same notebook or on the pages wherever you are noting down the notes and the assignments sir so here so here we come to an end of our uh, period thank you sairam